Footage has been released of the combat operation of fighters of the Kalinovsky Regiment under the Ukrainian army who fought for the forest strip near the village of Lipsy in eastern Kharkiv region. Fighters who came to the area in an armored vehicle, managed to liberate a large advancing rapidly. Several Russian soldiers were captured during the operation. It should be noted that Lipsy was liberated by Ukraine's main intelligence directorate. The forest in the north of Lipsy was liberated by fighters of the Artin and Kraken divisions, Belarusian regiment and foreign legion units of the main intelligence directorate under the defense ministry. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, accompanied by Belgian foreign Haja Labib, visited a hospital in Brussels on Thursday where Ukrainian servicemen are undergoing treatment. Zelensky met with soldiers who have been receiving care in the burn center since early September and handed out some state awards. Zelensky has been in the Belgian capital to meet with European Union leaders and NATO defense ministers to discuss his victory plan to end the country's devastating war with Russia. Major points of the plan include an invitation for Ukraine to join NATO and permission to use Western-supplied longer-range missiles to strike military targets deep inside Russia, steps that have been met with reluctance by Kiev's allies so far. The EU is a key supporter of Ukraine, a candidate member of the 27-nation bloc, as it fights Russia's invasion that began more than two and a half years ago. Thursday's talks in Brussels come as Ukrainian troops are struggling to hold off better equipped Russian forces, especially in the eastern Donetsk region where they are gradually being pushed back. Kiev is surviving with Western help, but Ukraine says it is coming too slowly. Указом президента України за особисту мужність, виявлено під час бойових дій, нагороджено орденом за мужність третього ступеня Пучкова Артема Михайловича, солдат. Артем Михайлович, не будучи патрулю. Пісно вам хочу вам боляче. Ну а що? Указом президента України за особисту мужність виявлено під час бойових дій, нагороджено віддалю за військову службу України, а крім його, Анатолій Васильович, солдат. Слава Україні! Around 11,000 North Korean infantrymen are currently undergoing training in eastern Russia before heading to fight in Ukraine, Kirill Budinov, head of the main directorate of defense intelligence of Ukraine, told. They will be ready by November 1, the intelligence chief said. He noted that North Korean troops will use Russian equipment and ammunition, and the first echelon of 2,600 soldiers will go to Kursk, where fighting continues. Where the rest of the troops will be sent is still unknown. We don't have the full picture right now, Budinov said. Earlier, President Volodymyr Zelensky said that North Korea is already preparing a contingent to fight against Ukraine. It's not just infantry, 
but also specialists from various military services. According to the President of Ukraine, there is information from Ukrainian intelligence that North Korean officers are already in the temporarily occupied territories of Ukraine. They are training Russian soldiers. I do not know the number of officers, but there is intelligence that Russia is counting on such reinforcement. Because Russia is not able to keep up with mobilization. It loses too many on the battlefield. And Putin knows that his society is against mobilization. That is why he is looking for external support, the president says. Zelensky says that Russia and North Korea intend to train 10,000 soldiers from various branches of the armed forces and ground forces. That is, Putin wants to involve not only infantry but also specialists from various branches of the military, including tactical ones. And we know that North Korea is already preparing a contingent to fight against Ukraine. This is a very urgent thing, the head of state says. Zelensky says he had talked to the United States and many leaders about this, as it is the involvement of another country in the war. This is an official fact that another country is being drawn into the war and will fight against Ukraine as a contingent alongside Russia. Because you know that Iran has already provided Russia with missiles and UAVs, but not with contingents. And this is a serious step, the involvement of a contingent in the war, he emphasizes.